What's going on, guys? MDLP from the Battle Axe, the Strongman Gym in Miami, where strength is everything. Making a video uh, about comments and questions, obviously. Uh, sometimes I just make things up because, I don't know, I just do things. I do whatever I want. Um, I get asked a lot, and I always get comments about kind of the intensity of the videos that I make. Um, host screaming and yelling and getting face planted by a yoke and uh, kicking bottles and shit. Um, and I guess the, the general consensus is, it, you know, like why or how, I guess it's cool or crazy or whatever. Um, but I guess everything has a point in my mind and um, there's always a method to the madness, if you will. But why exactly is it that I train in certain ways? Um, so for a long time when I was a Muay Thai fighter and when I first started training in strength and powerlifting, I trained alone. So when you train alone and you don't have that person to cheer you on or you know, slap you on the back or, you know, grunt or yell or whatever, um, all that stuff that's not gay between bros, um, it gets it gets to a point where you're going to have to find ways to kind of hype yourself up. Um, so, you know, the whole kind of just yelling at yourself and just slamming yourself into the bar, um, as much as I don't do it all the time because sometimes I feel like too much is just a waste of energy, I like to do enough that I feel... Um, I feel motivated by it. Like it's 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 a good feeling. It gets me kind of raged up, um, and so that's something that I like to do. Uh, that's one reason why I've done that. Number two, and I think it's the most important reason. I don't really know if I'm going to go with more reasons than that. Is that I feel that when you're training, you should really represent your your exact same attitude and the same environment and the same kind of will and sense of urgency that you're going to have in competition. So if you're not a competitor. Uh, by all means, do whatever you want. Um, you know, if you don't want to scream and you're just a quiet guy, cool. If you are a competitor and this is your particular style, I know a lot of guys that compete real quiet and don't make a noise. Um, but I like to get to have the same kind of feeling, the same kind of sense of urgency, that rage, that fucking violence in there um, that I'm about to do when I lift heavy at a comp. Uh, that's where I like to be. That's what I like to feel. That's what I like to mimic. Um, if I'm lucky enough to have training partners there, which is really important, it's great when they give you kind of the competitor ready count or they you know they yell at you let's go come on head up that kind of stuff is awesome um, I think it's better than cheerleading in the sense that it's kind of cues stuff that you're going to be yelled at during competition and it motivates you keeps you on track but it's also the same exact environment that you're going to feel when you're in competition when you have people yell at you and you might have one person you're trying to listen to or nobody at all but you just hear noises and it motivates you um, and you know when you're done in that in strong man, especially in powerlifting, you have that 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 grunt, that animal instinct. You want to just yell and get all into your lift. Um, so I kind of approach almost all my heavy movements. Not every set, obviously, but when I start to look for a PR or something big in my in uh, as far as volume or a big number, I approach it with that same attitude, that same kind of rage to kind of get used to it. And so I'm never not doing the same thing, as our sport is very ritualistic as far as you know strength sports. So that's kind of why I do what I do in the sense of uh, making a big fucking dramatic scene. Um, besides that, it's great for Instagram. The true, the true reason is that um, I really try to mimic the same energy and that same kind of fucking rage that I'm going to lift at in competition when I'm trying to win or do the best that I can. So not everybody has this style, and I don't, you know, not everybody can look as handsome, I guess. Um, but. <laughs> Uh, just kidding, I swear. Um, but I think it's important to kind of mimic how you're going to be in competition. If you're a guy that just gets up there and just destroys it and doesn't say a fucking word, by all means, that's how you should be training. If you're a kind of guy that needs to like do the whole ABCs and shit and do your stuff and look to Odin, um, I think when it gets to the heavy sets in, in training, you should kind of mimic that. So you just perfect your, your pattern and who you are. So um, I hope this kind of answers the questions and also to motivate some of you guys to put a sense of urgency in your lifts and your attitude when you're about to destroy something. So hope that helps, guys. Cheers.